Are we recording? Yes, 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 yes we are. Okay, so this is going to be the first of its kind. It's probably going to be maybe a couple to a few episodes long within this personal training diary series. But to get to the point, what I'm looking to do is to regularly track the progress of this final project that I'm making to send off to employers. It's a video and within the video I'm trying to briefly introduce who I am and to focus more so on my skills and what I'll be able to provide in that job. Within this video I'm looking to collect or no what um what I'm uh, what I would have done is not only collected the footage that I've already filmed and showed on YouTube of me doing basic barbell moves and also crossfit moves in particular I'll also explain how I do them and I'll also correct my form on a couple of them there's one move in particular that I wanted to correct my form on I've forgotten which one it is but I know that I want to do this for cleans my technique in particular because I know that it's not as smooth and fluent as it could be and it's definitely not as smooth as say even the beginners clean might be which is a deadlift into a front squat basically that's what a clean is so in order to show that I can coach and I can I have a basic understanding of how to correct people's technique in the video I'm going to correct my own particularly with the clean and also with that other move that I'm talking about. I've forgotten which one, but yeah, I've got a few moves that I've, I've collected if you see the videos. There are a few of them. The first out of the three is that I'm referring to is day 500, 528, part five out of five, day 529, part six out of seven, and day 534, part two out of four. I've collected all of the footage from those videos, I've taken quite a few of them out because I didn't think, I didn't like the, uh, the footage of quite a few of the clips from all of the videos combined because of framing. In quite a few of them, I wasn't completely in frame and it's difficult to check framing, especially when I'm using the front facing camera and it's not like I have a, 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 a viewfinder on the phone to be able to see what the uh, front facing camera can see like how you can with the selfie facing camera when I'm recording the videos on the front facing camera all I can see is this but if you film with the selfie facing camera then on record you'd be able to see the viewfinder here there is none there there isn't any on the back so it, it can be quite difficult if you don't if you don't check framing beforehand. It can be an not an, uh, sorry difficult. It's not the right uh, not the appropriate word here. An inconvenience to keep on going back to the camera to where you want to do the exercises and back and forth, back and forth to check that the framing's uh, to check that I completely fit within the frame, along with the weightlifting equipment I might be using in frame too. But with that said, I think I've got enough footage to be able to compile a five minute video or maybe even three to four minute video to introduce myself and to show what I'd be able to offer to the job as an assistant coach. And if they think they'd rather have me work as a video editor as I'd be showing them a video and I don't yet have qualifications, then I genuinely might actually take that role on instead, depending on the workload. I might actually volunteer with that role in mind because it's not even a situation where I have to think of in the sense that, let me try that again. It's a job that I'm, I definitely am more than willing to do without wanting money, without there being money involved. I'm doing that right now, that's the proof, alongside the other less than 1,700 videos that I've publicly uploaded onto YouTube. So, 
it's not like I hate it and it's not even a hypothetical situation, a question of whether I'd want to make and edit videos. Doing that would actually, could actually help um, me build on my video editing skills both here as well on the channel and just in general, both on the channel when in private too and um, maybe with their company if they'd want me to be to work as a video editor rather than a coach. Not only because I've showed them a video but because I don't have CrossFit qualifications yet. Saying that, within the video, I would tell them that I have full intentions of getting CrossFit qualifications and then take it from there. I'll introduce myself, I'll show the moves that I can do, I'll uh, say parts that I can work on form and say parts of um, the exercises that I like technique wise and then from there I'll, I'll give the outro which will be if you're interested, have a chat and we can we could talk about whether you'd like to take me on board and then from there I'll try and set up a voluntary opportunity which would then turn into a job, then turn into an income source where I am taking care of my health and getting paid to do it and, and well actually that'd be more behind the scenes, I'd be getting paid to take care of other people's health through exercising stuff, looking out for them in terms of their physical health. Do it through doing intense exercises yeah so that is what I've got going on at the moment yesterday I came up with this idea and today I actually wanted to make a clip explaining what I've done so far I haven't really added more onto what I've already done but I can say that I've got a basic amount of structure that I'd be following uh, which I made yesterday actually which would be as I said in me introducing myself me going through my moves with my um, my strengths and weaknesses like form and technique or uh, form slash technique with some of them like the clean and then I'll say I'll, I'll um, end the video saying if you're interested yeah we can we can we can chat and maybe they'll be able to give me a training program or like an internship like I was trying to do but didn't go to enough classes to make that happen that I would be doing that now, actually, if I if I had stuck to going there, but because I've been moving, it's just been pointless. I think. Anyway, I can make that happen elsewhere. Maybe they take me on. Maybe maybe people will take me on. Maybe they maybe they won't. But I, if if I'm finding it so difficult to get any work within that type uh, within. CrossFit due to not having the qualifications then what I might have to do is work just within general general gyms to begin with as I have the qualifications for them uh, for that and eventually we'll have a personal training qualifications by the end of the year then I'd start that then go to CrossFit and maybe even do gymnastics because I am interested in that too but CrossFit is more than fine with me for now because it's got that calisthenics gym rings aspect that I want to do and weightlifting too which gymnastics might not have, but it just seems way more um, interesting moves wise. You've got some interesting moves in CrossFit, but compared to gymnastics, with the amount of movement that goes on in, in uh, with with those moves and that, with how much you're going all over the place, you're swinging back and forth, like doing front flips, back flips, handstands, which you do in CrossFit to be fair, through um, the calisthenics aspect, but that's a lot more gymnastics as its own type of fitness rather than it being a minor part of um, a bigger picture of a bigger um, picture which would be CrossFit because gymnastics within CrossFit is just only an aspect of it whereas if it's just gymnastics as a whole that's that is a that's a different story yeah but for now I'll end the clip here and um, I'll talk about what I've done in the next clip because I, I do want to make some more progress with it today which I'll go and talk to you about uh, in the next job centre appointment I've got because I've told them that I'll be um, collecting clips to send to an employer with the uh, two employers that I've already got um, and seen on Google Maps Yeah. right so after a short while I have done a little bit more than I'd done yesterday very basically I have 
further drafted out the introduction. It's sketchy, in my opinion, but it's something. It it's definitely a rough draft, but I now have more structure to the video than I've done before, and within the project now the first move I pointed out was the move that I could work on the most. On one end I could see this as risky because I'm showing that although I do have a basic understanding of the names of the moves my ability is nowhere near where it could be and nowhere near where it should be for a coach. If it was say someone that was being trained as a client then fair enough that technique could be developed but a, a coach in my opinion shouldn't not understand how to do basic moves to um, the basic CrossFit moves to a specific level the clean as far as I'm aware is very basically a deadlift into a front squat and the point that I made was that I find it difficult to combine both parts of the move together to make the clean one smooth fluid motion. So off that they might think that they shouldn't hire me because I I lack a basic understanding of the moves but they might actually do something better than immediately take me on as a coach. They might put me through what I'm, what I'm really wanting to do honestly a training program to further hone my skills and master the technique of basic moves like the clean. From there I'd then be able to work on my coaching and then from there when I'm actually ready be able to have a job uh, in that in that field. And if, that doesn't, and if that doesn't work out then what I might have to do if say I've applied to 20 plus employers and none of them are saying that they would even want me on board for a training program that I might have to take on work as a general gym instructor to personal trainer I, I genuinely might have to I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to take on a personal training role yet because I don't yet have the qualifications but if this CrossFit thing doesn't work out in the way I'm saying it might not where I might uh, um, try and apply it to 20 plus employers and it's not and none of them are saying yes then working as a personal trainer might be the gateway to then go back get my qualifications behind the scenes get my qualif crossfit qualifications behind the scenes and then start applying again so that's what i've done and i'm finally making more progress from the little bit that i made yesterday when i was just out for a walk going to before taking my final, having my final farewell session at that CrossFit gym, rather ironically. And um, yeah, I plan to add on it tomorrow. I'll, I'll just talk about the clean more and focus more on the technique. Focus more on my technique on what could improve, which is that, that fluid motion in between the deadlift aspect and the front squat aspect. That transition part, I could I could work on that. And And... Um, we'll see if they say no you, you really need to work on your moves or if they say you definitely have some potential and although we're not willing to put, make you a coach right now we could take you through a program where you could then master and hone your skills and then be able to work with us as, as a coach they might do they might not especially seeing as, as I don't yet have the qualifications I am making the odds further against me to get a job in CrossFit at this point. I'd say I'm kind of balancing it out where I'm showing that I have a basic understanding of the moves and I'm showing where I have strengths and where I have my weaknesses with form and maybe even coaching a little bit here and there which they might be able to pick up better than me. So I'd say I'm increasing the likelihood of being able to find work within the CrossFit industry through doing that through creating this project but that is counted by the fact that I don't yet have my qualifications and I don't think from a financial perspective I'd be able to get them anytime soon honestly unfortunately but hey they might take me on 
they might take me on and with that with that money they'd be giving me I might be able to start putting that aside toward getting the qualification I need to further hone my skills but that is it for now though I'm done and cheers to finalizing that project and making it happen I think I'll probably edit it if I want to upload it on YouTube I'd edit it so that my name's not on there my name's not out there but um, yeah I can still upload it and censor it a little bit here and there edit some parts out but just for anonymity reasons but yeah I like where things are heading and I plan to add on to this progress that I've made today tomorrow peace